Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to everyone who's watching yet another episode of Funworks Media. My name is Zen Goplani, and today I'm here with uh, one of our exclusive uh, live sessions called Teen Talks. Now, a lot of you might have seen our Teen Talks, a lot of you might not have seen our Teen Talks. So, what is about Teen Talk? My first question is Are you ready to listen to the future? Are you curious about how our future thinks? Today, we are back with another special initiative of Funworks is called Teen Talks, an inquisitive journey into the future. To have our leaders of tomorrow express their perspective and share their thoughts as we discuss the human virtues and the profound elements of life. They are classified as Generation Z, young, vibrant, studying volumes of content and enriching their lives by harnessing their talents. The theme of today's Teen Talk is learning the why and the how. And I have joining me uh, three special guests with me. And all three are doing wonders in their respective fields. They're doing wonders in their academia, in their curricular activities. They are like us. They like talking. They like speaking. They like music. They like games. So everything that we enjoy, they also enjoy the same. Yet they have a perspective uh, which can be same or different from us. Today, I have joining me uh, our three guests. And of course, I'm going to bring them on screen right now. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me call my guest for today's episode. Uh, Sayyid Shah Nawaz, Mishal Khan, and Sayyida Rabia. So I would request all three of you to again go turn by turn and introduce yourself. I'll start with you, Shah Nawaz. Hi, I'm um, Shah Nawaz Imam. Okay, Shah Nawaz, what do you do? Tell us about yourself. I like um, some of my hobbies are like I like to exercise these days, I go cycling. And okay. I play video games if I get beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Shah Nawaz, for saying that. Uh, next, I would like to ask Rabia to please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sayyida Rabia, and I recently completed my O levels, and now I'm an aspiring medical student. I love okay. baking and photography. Wow, you love baking and photography. Yeah, that, that's yes. great. Thank you, Rabia, for being here with us. And last but not the least, I have Mishal Khan with me. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm Mishal. I'm 16 years old and I just finished my O-levels as well. And I'm an aspiring architect. Right. So I have an aspiring architect. I have an aspiring science professional. I have, uh, so Shah Nawaz really wants to uh, have his own pharmaceutical business in future. So I have an aspiring entrepreneur with me too. And that's great. So thank you, uh, all three of you, for being here with me. So how is your lockdown coming along? How is quarantine life coming along for all three of you? Quite unproductive. Good. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's quite unproductive, but we're trying to be productive. Okay, so it's yeah. kind of unproductive, and you're trying to be productive. Okay, Michelle, how is it for you? Yeah, it's kind of routine now to but just stay at home and be safe. I yeah. Guess. Okay, Shanawas. It's just like doing the same thing every day now. Okay, okay. Now that's interesting. So people who are watching us now, please do drop your name, do drop your organization or do drop your city you're coming from. Hamme zaru bataiye, main Shah Nawaz, Rabia, Mishal, hum sab jaanna chahenge ki hamein kin kin logon ne join kiya hai. Aur hamare paas pehla comment aap hi chuka hai. Ye hamari regular ek follower hai, jo hamein regularly hamare show dekhti hai. Ye hai Shahina Jagirani. Shahina hamein join karti hai Setwaja Khairpur Mir se. China, thank you once again for being here with us uh, once again in our episode. So today's topic is learning. Why and how? And learning is a virtue of human life. It's a virtue of human element. So my first question is Mishal. If I ask you, how would you define learning in today's age and time? What's learning for you, Mishal? Um, I feel that learning is a very diverse topic and like, mm -hmm. um, Obviously, it's very important to learn new things every day. Or, it's yeah. I would I would describe it as just the need to know and gain more information, or okay. a wider knowledge of different things. Okay, so it's need to know different things, and of course, it's diversified. Interesting, Michal. Acha, hamen hena akhtar hamar sath maujood hai. Hena akhtar na me hello bola hai. Hello hena. Hamen Mirza Muhammad Faisal. Thank you, Mirza. Thank you, Hina, for being here. So you said learning is something that's again learning new things. Mariam Khan is here as well. Mariam Khan is saying hi to you, Mishal. Lovely to hear you speaking. 
मैं So technology, it is you think. Interesting, Wabia. What do you think? What is learning for you? I think I agree with my fellows somewhat, but I don't think the learning in today's world is about actually gaining knowledge. Everyone okay. is just after the, those grades and those high GPAs and stuff. They're not really trying to learn something, to understand the topics, to understand the concepts and the theories. They're just there to ra- run a race. It's like a race, and wow. uh, as as we all know, in Amir Khan's movie Three Idiots, he have effortlessly depicted that it's a race of donkeys. Like mm. I agree to that. <laughs> interesting, and, interesting. Yeah. So, कहीं ना कहीं से आप या आमिर खान ने ये भी कहा था कि we should strive for excellence and not yes, only grades. Exactly. exactly. So, do you I think, think we should back and use our yeah? We should realize without running. Um, without without running for the prize at the end we should realize that the real prize is the lessons we gain in the way in the wow. journey that's what learning should be about that's beautiful beautiful mean. beautiful i get bahut achhi baat kahi abia ne ke learning is about ke jo journey ke hum part bane hue hain us journey mein hum kya kya seekhte hain chahe wo hamare academia ki journey ho chahe hamari life ki journey ho या वो किसी ट्रैवल की जर्नी हो हमें बहुत लोगों ने ज्वाइन किया हुआ उनके कमेंट्स यहाँ दिख रहे हैं हमें राहिल अली आ, हमने कहा राहिल अली ने कमेंट किया है हाय फ्यूचर राहिल हेयर फ्रॉम फन वर्ड्स मरियम शाह हैज ज्वाइन अस मरियम शाह इज हेड ऑफ ओडी मास्टर टाइल शी हैज ज्वाइन अस मिर्जा मोहम्मद फैसल ने बताया कि वो जैज कॉपरेट हैदराबाद से हमें ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं शानजे रिजवी हमें देख रही हैं ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम मैनचेस्टर थैंक यू शानजे फॉर वॉचिंग एस फ्रॉम मैनचेस्टर Maryam Khan uh, is listening us from Karachi Maryam Shah is live from Lahore Asila Khanwala has said hi all to everyone Rahil Ali aap tino ko hi keh rahe hain Mishal Rabia Shah Nawaz uh, Ammar plays is saying hello guys bilkul jo log ne hum abhi abhi join kiya hai hamare paas maujood hai the future of the world with us today talking about learning the why and the how अकोर्स क्विकली बता दूंगा आपके पास आप भी जिन लोगों ने हमें पहली पहली बार हमारे फोन वक्स मीडिया पे आए हैं प्लीज डो नॉट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड वी हैव कीप ऑन वी कीप ऑन शेयरिंग सच अमेजिंग कॉन्टेंट ठीक है जी तो जहाँ आप लोगों ने मुझे बताया कि लर्निंग टेक्नोलॉजी भी है लर्निंग इज डाइवर्स डायनामिक एक्सलेंस की बात की जाती है मिशाल फाई आस्क यू वाई डू यू थिंक लर्निंग इज सो मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ह्यूमस इतना इतना अहम क्यों है मिशाल मुझे लगता है कि दैट everyone's main purpose on earth is to learn because if it was not what else would be do like what would be do what would we be doing so mm. i feel like it, it's very important in like getting to where we need to be as people also as a society hmm so bahut aapka purpose hi kya rahega great great thing uh, rabia well, what do you think i think learning is very important it gives you wisdom You see, we go mm. to people for advices who are learned. We don't go to some random co- uh, low layman for some advices for very high advices. You know, for our yeah. life and anything. So, if you are a learned person, you gain uh, experience and you gain the analytical mind. You wide, you have a wide spectra of uh, thinking and stuff. So, I think that's really important to have to have wisdom in life. You need to learn. You need to be able to learn, hmm. and not just study. Hmm. Interesting. So to get the to get the perspective, to get the wisdom, one needs to learn. Interesting, Rabia. Shanavas, what do you think? Why learning is so much important for all of us? Learning, I think it's very important because learning gives us knowledge, and as people say, knowledge is power. Learning hmm. is important as are the world. Our world is changing uh, in different ways all the time, and learning hmm. helps us adapt to the world that we live in at the current. Interesting, interesting. Um, बिल्कुल and I guess um, and I'm also pondering upon what you guys said to me about learning कि आपका purpose क्या होएगा what Michal said that learning जो आप यहाँ ने बात कही हमें तो और लोगों ने join किया है जो फिका मिठानी is saying hi to us and Muhammad M Muskan Rahim is here 
शीज ऑल्सो सेंग हाई टू आस जो लोग हमें देख रहे हैं सुन रहे हैं जिन्होंने अभी भी ज्वाइन किया है प्लीज डू ड्रॉप इन योर नेम डू ड्रॉप इन योर सिटी नेम डू ड्रॉप इन आप हमें कहाँ से सुन रहे हैं सो दैट वी आर अवेयर ऑफकोर्स हमारे यू नो गेस्ट अवेयर हो इस बात से के लिए इंटरेस्टिंग अच्छा मुझे वहाँ भी आई फैकेंड बिल्ड अप ऑन डैट डू यू थिंक लर्निंग इज इट अ कॉन्शियस चॉइस और डू वी नीड external pressure to learn something or is it a hybrid what do you think mr uh, abia i think it's a mixture to some extent but if we are talking about external pressure rather than external inspiration or guidance then mm. i think external pressure cannot let you learn anything at all if you're ah. pressurized you're just going to think you're just going to be overburdened overburdened okay you don't you don't feel like learning you don't want to learn and then you're just pressurized with parents by parents or teachers or pe- or peer pressure you just have to get that grade or something like that i think it's really important if we learn by ourselves but in my case i had a i have a story that since childhood i was very into architecture i okay. was a, a really um different child i wanted to be something different and i wanted to be anything other than a medical student because okay. why because it was different because it was so mainstream and i wanted to do something different and okay. uh, so i was so against it and uh, apparently when i changed schools and okay. this was, there was this teacher miss mahajibeen in my 7th grade okay, okay. so she, she was so good she uh, on her first day i i remember vaguely she asked everyone who whose favorite subject is science or whatever so i i was thinking in my mind who the heck would want science to be their favorite subject like okay. who even like science so and they, uh, because i didn't have exposure i didn't like science because i never learned it i i only mm. studied it i never learned it okay. so but gradually as she taught us I was surprised to know that science is so beautiful and full of. Uh, it made me curious about science, and now I'm a medical student. Wow! 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 Now that that's that's really inspiring. And what you said, Rabia, that learning, uh, it's not ha- there's not there's not have to be external pressure, but external yes. inspiration. And Miss Mahajabeen did the same for you. And I'm sure we all have had such great teachers in our life. जिन्होंने हमें कभी ना कभी कहीं ना कहीं कुछ ना कुछ करने के लिए मोटिवेट किया है अगर आप लोग जो हमें ऑडियंस सुन रही है अगर आपकी लाइफ में कोई ऐसे टीचर हैं जिन्होंने आपको इंस्पायर किया है जिन्होंने आपकी लर्निंग में एक अलग एलिमेंट दिया है या आपकी लर्निंग को बूस्ट किया है हमें कॉमेंट सेक्शन में ज़रूर बताइए कि आपके वो टीचर कौन थे कहाँ थे एंड आई विली होप कि मिस महाजबीन ये कॉन्वर्जेशन सुन रही हो और अगर नहीं सुन रही तो हम कोशिश करेंगे कि अगर हम किसी मिस महाजबीन को जानते हैं जो साइंस टीचर है तो बिल्कुल ये वीडियो शेयर करें उनसे और बताइए कि आपकी एक सक्सेस स्टोरी या हमारे सामने बैठी है हमें बाकी लोगों ने भी ज्वाइन किया हुआ है लेट्स क्विकली सी हु वी हैव हियर हमें महविश शाहिद ने ज्वाइन किया है विच इज राबिया सी और मोम इज हियर एंड शी सिंग शी इज प्राउड ऑफ यू वी हैव मारवी शाह फ्रॉम कराची शी सिंग आई लाइक योर सेशन जैन थैंक यू सो मच बट आज मे वी नहीं इन लोगों की बाबी है अमार कह रहे हैं दैट ही हैज ज्वाइन अस फ्रॉम यू के जकी शफीक इज हाई गाइज मरियम शाह कह रही है लर्निंग इज इंडीट इम्पॉर्टेंट हाउ अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अन लर्निंग आई वॉन्ट कॉमेंट्स फ्रॉम आर फ्यूचर बिल्कुल हम सवाल बिल्कुल लेंगे मरियम इस बात पर बिल्कुल बात करेंगे जकी हमें ज्वाइन करें लाहौर से ठीक है जी बिल्कुल अपने बात बताइएगा मैं सवाल आप लोगों से ऑडियंस से ये पूछा है कि अगर आपकी लाइफ में कोई ऐसे टीचर है जिन्होंने आपको इंस्पायर किया है और कैसे इंस्पायर किया है बिल्कुल हमें कमेंट सेक्शन में बताइए मीन वाइल आई एम टॉकिंग टू द फ्यूचर ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड शाहनवाज सेम क्वेश्चन टू यू लर्निंग एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर हाउ डज इट वर्क फॉर यू कॉन्शियस टू फॉर मी एज एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर फॉर माई पेरेंट्स और माई टीचर्स but as i got older like i found out that i only like to write about things that i'm passionate about okay like things i like to do and about myself i like to write about myself sometimes so when i learned that i didn't need any extra pressure or anything so you found you found the love for writing about things that you really like doing and things that you really passionate about so the problem was not in the writing the problem was was the content that you were writing is that correct beautiful channel that was very really sending and i guess 
that's also one of the great learnings that i've just got from you is that ke agar wo cheez hame jo my passion relevant hai agar hum wo cheez kare to of course hame khud maza aa jata hai chahe wo writing ho chahe wo science ho chahe wo maths ho aur jo bhi cheeze hoti hain bilkul hame audience ne join kiya hai please apna naam zarur bataiye ga aur hamare sawal ka jawab ye hai ke agar kisi teacher ne aapko inspire kiya hai aapki learning process pe please unka naam zarur bataiye ga aur kaise inspire kiya ye zarur bataiye ga acha mishal tell me one thing in your experience Do you think people are selective in their drive to learn? Like, कुछ लोग ऐसे होते हैं जिन्हें सीखने का शौक ही नहीं होता. What do you think, Michal? जी, I feel like definitely because um, I def- I myself know some people who in like when they were in school, उनको ज़्यादा शौक नहीं था पढ़ने का, because they didn't really want to learn what they were being taught. और फिर जब वो university गए थे, they were actually thriving, because that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to learn things that they were studying. So. University may unka like especially it's a very cliche thing to like uh, rank it by grades. Magar their grades were going from like being at the bottom to like being at the top. Because just because wow. they were learning things they actually enjoyed. So I feel like yes, it, learning is quite selective, but it could also be a very broad spe- like spectrum. Agar log chahe. लोग चाहें तो इंटरेस्टिंग तो आप यहाँ जो ये मिसाल बात कर रही हैं कि अगर लोग चाहें तो वो सीख सकते हैं तो आप ये चाहत कैसे पैदा की जाए लोगों के अंदर कि वो सीखने को तैयार हो वट डू डू आई थिंक पीपल नीड टू बी एक्सेप्टिंग मोर एक्सेप्टिंग ऑफ द न्यू फील्ड दैट आर एंटरिंग आर सोसाइटी दे नीड टू हैव दे नीड टू एक्सेप्ट द एक्सपोजर पीपल द न्यू जनरेशन दे आर इंटरेस्टेड इन वेरियस थिंग्स ठीक है देयर आर सो मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स इन ए लेवल्स सो मेनी सब्जेक्ट्स दैट इट्स अ वाइड स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ न्यू पॉसिबिलिटीज बट वी एज अ सोसाइटी वी नीड टू रियलाइज दैट नॉट बीइंग अ डॉक्टर और एन एन इंजीनियर इज नॉट एवरीथिंग एंड नॉट मनी मनी आल्सो मनी इज नॉट एवरीथिंग बिकॉज़ इफ वी इफ वी डू समथिंग वी लव इफ वी एक्चुअली गेट दैट पैशन पैशन इज नॉट बिल्ड अप इन जस्ट अ डे और टू it's it it is a long time process and you have to grow grow with it so i think ke agar agar jo cheez chahte hain aur uske liye work karna chahte hain to usko pursue karne ke liye hame aage se jo hai confidence milna chahiye support milni chahiye bajaye iske ke we are dumped with ke jo hai he is an art student he can do anything or whatever like that i think that makes a huge difference if society is more accepting right so you think somewhere because you and you mentioned very correctly that in a levels uh, we have a lot of subjects and kahin na kahin se phir bhi hum bahut sare logon ko ek limited confined subjects ke upar hi rakhte hain because there is a scope and there is a potential for jobs in future for career in future so shanawaz um, what do you think is are the role of adults here कि जो बात कही राबिया ने अभी कि इतने सारे सब्जेक्ट्स अवेलेबल हैं मगर फिर भी कहीं ना कहीं हमने हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को हमने हमारे फ्यूचर को कुछ लिमिटेड कंटेंट पे ही लिमिटेड इन सब्जेक्ट्स पे ही रखा हुआ है हाउ डू वी टेल आर अडल्ट्स अबाउट दिस के यार यू नो व्हाट दे आर लाइक देर लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज हर कोई बिजनेस साइंस इंजीनियरिंग नहीं पढ़ सकता हाउ डू वी गो अबाउट दैट शानवास I'm not really sure how you would go about that because the world that we live in today is much different from the world that they grew up in. Yeah. So the things are much different for us. The way that we are being raised is different from the way that they were raised. Mm. Like we're more technology focused in our generation, and they didn't have yeah. the technology or much stuff like that back then. So you somehow believe that difficult is it to convince them? I I would say it's a bit difficult. It's a bit difficult convincing them. Because it. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, and that is right too as well. Because the generation is very different, and everything is very different. Acha, we have we keep on getting some comments as well, and बिल्कुल हम इस बारे में मज़ेद हम इसको आगे explore करेंगे. Today I have three of my guests with me, people जिन्होंने मैं अभी अभी join किया है. I have Michal, I have Rabia, and I have Shanawaz joining me uh, from different part. And of course, we are here for our team talk show. हमें बहुत लोगों ने join किया है. मावी शान ने जवाब दिया था हमारे सवाल का कि Mrs. Ahmed हैं जिन्होंने उन्हें inspire किया है from Karachi. Manahil Haq has joined us from Lahore. Ibrahim Khan is appraising you, Shah Nawaz, uh, saying Shah Nawaz on top. Uh, Nehan Iqbal is appraising you, Rabia. Uh, very cool and informative, Rabia. Uh, that is there, and we are getting a lot of questions too. 
सो हाउ अबाउट वी टेक वन क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ एंड देन ऑफकोर्स मैं अपना सवाल भी आगे पढ़ाऊंगा ओके सो वही बात जो राबिया ने कही थी उसी को थोड़ा बिल्डअप किया है सवाल ने भी मयम खान पूछ ही हुई है कि वॉट अबाउट द लर्निंग ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आउटसाइड एंड बियॉन्ड द स्कूल करिकुलम फॉर एग्जाम्पल लर्निंग अबाउट क्लासिकल लिटरेचर एंड माइथोलॉजी थ्रू मीन्स एंड एवरी थिंग वॉट अबाउट दैट यू पीपल थिंक दैट अपॉर्चुनिटीज एग्जिस्ट जहाँ आप लोग अपने करिकुलम के बाहर भी पढ़ाई कर सकते हैं या चीज़ें पढ़ते भी हैं अपार्ट फ्राम सेल्फ बेस्ड लर्निंग शाहनवाज उन आंसर दैट में भी Yeah, like uh, for example, on Instagram, uh, there hmm. I have I follow a lot of news pages, so I'm okay. always learning about what's happening around the world. Either it's Pakistan or around the world, I always know what's happening because I have a feed of uh, that selling me everything I need. So you're learning a lot on on Instagram, yeah, about world news and everything. Interesting, Michelle. What do you think? I definitely agree with that. Because um, ever since our school let out. No, like I haven't been learning much, so mm -hmm. I took it upon myself to like maybe take a course or two online. And I feel like, like uh, Shana was said, I agree about Instagram because a lot of the news I get is from online, okay. and even just learning new things here. I have this cousin, uh, okay. who, who like, if I see something um, interesting that like I want to learn about and she knows about, I send it to her, and then she'll explain to me, which I feel is very. Um, It's like a very uh, good form of just learning because you're not only learning something, but you're learning something from someone you admire, and wow. like what, you have a relationship. Name? Because we want to know who is your cousin. Maryam. Maryam. So Maryam is like your yeah. Wikipedia, yeah. 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 Yeah A very wide uh, has been given me so much information about either it be Kashmir issues or Palestinian issues or the Yemen crisis happening. I've mm. been I've I've been very away from the world affairs since if, since the beginning of time. But now that the in, that the influencers that the pages on Instagram are now uh, taking their time to post about the real crisis going on in the world, it. Really, uh, it really is a platform where people can learn about social uh, social activities that they can actually sign petitions. I've mm. been a very I've been very interested in these kind of things, and uh, moreover, I think that we can learn from everything. We don't even know what we're mm. learning. Mm. Okay, so the thing is, we learn. So much from our grandparents, our parents, our friends, oh. our teachers, without even knowing that we are learning. We can even learn from animals. I think that's very wow. true because animals are very compassionate creatures, and yeah. I love animals, of of course. So that's why I think that animals can also teach you a thing or two about compassion and uh, self, self uh, being independent. I think so. Wow, and even wow, Allah wow, says wow. in the Holy Quran that there are signs in this world for those who reflect. I mean, people if people stop reflecting or if if people stop learning from the world, then what is there? There is nothing. The studies and the curriculum, it's nothing. They yeah, wow. are built on history, exactly. Wow, wow, and I love your point that um, there's so much so that we can learn from animals. Yet alone humans, and uh, about being compassionate, and about all those things. I guess that was very well brilliantly said by all three of you. Uh, we have all the comments still there. In the meantime, I'm I'm awestruck by all three of your answers. So, so I'm going to pause the time because I'm a little bit tired. You digest the time. It takes a little time. But very brilliantly said to all three of you. Okay, we have Manail Hug has joined from Lahore. Joined. What is it? Shahina Jagirani has answered us that Sir Abdul Shakur Meeman is the teacher of biology. Ke. जिन्होंने इन्हें इंस्पायर किया है हिना अख्तर इज सेइंग वेल सेट शानवाज सोशल मीडिया कैन बी वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव एज वेल अच्छा एक सवाल है आउट ऑफ टॉपिक है आउट ऑफ कोर्स सवाल है कि वेयर डू यू गाइस इन सोशल मीडिया वेयर डू यू गाइस स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ योर टाइम इज इट फेसबुक इंस्टा यूट्यूब टिकटॉक वेयर डू गाइस स्पेंड आई लास्ट इंडिविजुअली शानवाज आई स्पेंड मोस्ट माय टाइम ऑन इंस्टाग्राम बिकॉज़ आई कैन फॉलो मल्टीपल पेजेस इंस्टाग्राम एंड इन माय फीड आई गेट ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन Interesting. So Instagram is for you. Uh, Rabia, what is for you? Instagram. 
It's the best. <laughs> Instagram is for you as well. Yeah. Michelle, what about you? Yeah, I think same Instagram. Oh, right. Jo hume marketers dekh rahe hain is waqt aur aap hamari future generations ko motivate karna chahte hain, inspire karna chahte hain ya possibly koi buying behavior influence karna chahte hain. So you know, Instagram is the place and main bilkul uh, comment section mein janna chahunga logo se ki agar aap social media use karte hain learning purpose ke wale se which platform do you think would provide you good learning avenues as well and not only like ke aapko baqaida kisi course mein ja ke register karna pade but learning on the go is the element ki aap kisi pages ko follow karte hain and you get quick updates on that thing i guess that's how instagram serves a purpose for a lot of us ke it's learning on the go so do mention which platform of social media you use and hum bilkul comments hum dekhna chahenge aapke meanwhile main i'm talking about i'm talking to the future of the world i have shanawaz i have mishal and rabia joining me if you have just joined us uh, please stay tuned hum bahut sa sawalat kar rahe hain aaj ka topic hamara hai learning acha ji uh, similarly jab baat kar rahe hain yahan pe hum jab learning ki baat karte hain um i'm going to ask this question from shanawaz ji first um, what do you think are the role of leaders ya parents in encouraging their children students or employees to be more proactive towards learning kya kare parents ya kya kare leaders ke unke log zyada proactively learning kare um i personally think that parents should be more encouraging to their kids to learn and to find their passion and to teach them like show them more things that they might get interested in and when they do find something they're passionate about be supportive of it you know not everybody has to be a medicine student or an engineering student there are a lot more fields that you can go into and i think that other like the parents should be supportive of that that can see Okay, Shana was there. Some distortion on your side. Me, just your voice cut gave beach me. If you can please repeat oh. your answer. Yeah, sure. Uh, personally, I think that parents should be encouraging their kids to learn and to find their passion okay. and show them more subjects that they might be interested in. And when kids do find something <laughs> that they like, they should. Uh, the parents should be supportive of it. But then, not everybody has to be an uh, engineering student or a medical student. Okay. 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 So parents should find their child's passion. Give them a passion. Kya hai? And of course, they us raam hai. Usko lete hue chale. Beautifully expressed. Michelle, what do you think? What should parents, I, yeah. leaders do? I definitely agree with that. But like sometimes, um, over encouragement can be dangerous because so that could come off as overburdening to their children and um, mm. people who are coming like. who are growing up and coming into higher levels of education so it's very important to find that middle ground which mm-hmm. both like the leaders and the future of the gen- like the future generations agree with so as not to um overburden them because mm. it can be very detrimental to their mental health as well if they are forced into something that they don't agree with Okay. I guess there's some internet issue from my side. Can you all hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. ठीक है जी. तो बिल्कुल सही बात कही कि जहाँ आपने मिसाल बताया कि again do not overburden your children in the terms of learning कि हर वक्त सीखो 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 करके नहीं कर सकते. And of course you have to create a balance between uh, when do they really want to learn and when they do really want to apply those learnings to and when do they really want to just you know be uh, Go with, go naturally in that thing. So go, go with the flow. Now, but some comments are there. Before I move to Abhi, I will comment on them. I will say, Faiza Vyas is saying that it's really nice to see our teens talking like this. It's a very healthy conversation. Thank you, Faiza, for acknowledging. Asila uh, is actually saying that the entire academic academic system needs to be revamped. Do you guys agree with her? Academic yes. system needs to be revamped. Totally. Yeah. Very much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? ये बात जो है ना मैं अपने बच्चों में भी सोचता था कि एकेडमिक सिस्टम नीड टू बी रिवैम्प्ड एंड अल्लाह जाने कब होगा बट आई रियली विश के सूनर और लेटर वी गेट टू सी अ डिफरेंट एकेडमिक सिस्टम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड 
and there are some countries who are still experimenting with different learning styles and different learning methodologies i hope it happens soon i have ibrahim khan who is joining us from layavi uh, shanze has a comment as well shanze keh rahi hai ki it's a little hard enough though as sometimes you cannot be really sure on what's true and what's not true on instagram ahmed khan is acknowledging your comment shanawaz he's saying well said uh shahina has a comment as well shahina keh rahi hai the process of self learning places a great emphasis on the process rather than the outcome of the learning <coughs> what do you guys think do you guys agree rabia what do you think i think it, i agree somewhat but it's the mm. outcome that matters it's the outcome that matters but michal do you think ki kai baar process ko leke itna zyada hum zyada fringy ho jate hain ki yaar hum outcome bhul jate hain ki nahi we want to study we want to see the exam results and that is it we do not know ki when are these students going to apply those pythagoras theorem in future so again how does that work do you think we get too much yeah. carried away in the process i don't yeah i do agree but, with that somewhat but i feel like the process as well as the outcome should both be of equal importance you get the process you can you can also apply in different places the outcome is usually just something for a specific topic or some something like that but the process could be very widespread depending on how you use it okay wow that that was interesting that was interesting shana was what's your take on that i think that the outcome is more important because as people say it's not how you start it's how you finish Oh wow! It's not how you start; it's how you finish. That's that's really clearly said, Shahnawaz. Uh, we have more comments coming in. We have Farhad uh, joining us from Karachi. He's saying very enriching conversation, and he's saying thank you to all of us. Thank you so much, Farhad, for joining us. We have Kashan uh, who's saying that he completely agrees with you, Shahnawaz. Now, when we talk about this topic, and again, there's a question from the first level, and the question is, there are many things we can learn from our academia, from our academia. क्लास टेन क्लास इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो वन एंड सो फोर्थ हम पढ़ते हैं जो कि एक्चुअली काम नहीं आता वॉट अबाउट दोज थिंग्स वुड वी कॉल दैट लर्निंग और इज इज जस्ट दैट वी टू मच कैरिड अवे विद दी प्रोसेस कि बस ये भी पढ़ना है ये भी पढ़ना है लाजमी है वॉट यू गैट सिंग हाउ कैन यू गो अबाउट दैट वाब यू डोट से समथिंग ऑन दैट आई थिंक इट इट रियली you have to learn the maths and the algorithms and everything mm. like that but if you are a biology student and if you want to pursue medicine in the future then i think only biology and chemistry is important you know you don't really have to learn mathematics or you don't really have to learn physics but it somewhat gives you some knowledge you can pass on to the future generation for example if you don't have certain facilities you can teach your own children in the future okay okay so you think it it comes it does come in handy and it will always uh, benefit you at at some point or later on your life yes, interesting michal what do you think um i do agree i feel like but i feel like everything is going to be important in some sort of way though a lot of times in okay. school especially they focus on things which aren't really important which at the time they might be but in the bigger picture like for the cis they'll spend like a month teaching a topic that that is not even important to our future so i feel like as you grow older the scope of education should be more focused on what you want to do in the like as your job or as your career instead of mm. just generalizing it why so you think uh, but again ye cheez hai life mein to baad mein aati hai once you are in your masters or once you are in your yeah, phd yeah i suppose so yeah and then you get very now and now now and become very super duper laser focused thing uh shanwa do you think we can have this kind of approach in the initial years as well or does it have to be on a masters or phd level i think we can uh, i think school prepares us as a general in a general like it gives you opportunity mm. to pursue any career that you want until a 10th or 11th or 11th mm. and 12th grade where you start focusing on the topic that mm. you pick what you want your career to like if you want to go into medicine science biology and uh, chemistry is very important but math is also very important in medicine right 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 okay abhi i want to add something to it yeah i think that if we 
if we give zero importance to the art subjects, like if we think that social studies was not important to learn in grade seven or grade eight, it's not that. It gives you more exposure. It gives you more mm. wisdom. You can think more analytically and mo have a wide spectra of your thinking. You know, it's not just limited. Your your spectrum of thinking is not limited. You can relate to history, and you can rel you can actually put those uh, theories or put those actions in your daily lives. You can incorporate them in your daily lives. So that's. I think that will make it okay to learn those things. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, Shanawas, often at times people classify learning with uh, either it has to be books, either hard books or the digital books, or it has to be articles and everything. Do you think, and since you really like video games, and I'm also a very big video games lover, uh, do you think we can learn from these other tools as well, like video games maybe? Do you think we can still learn yes, from that? We can have a learning mind using video games? Yes, definitely. Because uh, video games, they yeah, you want to give some examples? Do things yeah. that you can't do in real life, and you can try those things out. And you, yeah. you can make yeah. better yeah. games. Interesting. Do Girls, what do you guys, what do you both think? Um. Yeah, I do agree. Okay. I feel like video games are um. They're not really put in the best light by society, as um, there are some games which people like consider that they change the mindset of children. Which sometimes I agree with. It depends on the child themselves, but it's very important to know that there is like some kind of outlet you can have because video games are very vast. There's a lot of games where you can learn. There's games where you can like be creative or and whatnot. But I feel like even as recreation, they are very important. Because they kind of give you a, like more time to like uh, recuperate after studying as well. So like when you start studying again, like you have more of a clearer mindset and you can focus more because all the confusion or like whatever you had while you were studying before drifted away while you were like playing video games. So it's like an outlet. Interesting. So, uh, Michelle, I remember you mentioned that you, there's a game that you really love playing. Uh, it's called Ukulele, if I'm not wrong. And please oh, correct yeah, me uh, if I'm wrong. What yeah. game is it? Tell us. It's an instrument. Yeah. It's an it's instrument. Like a, yeah, uh, okay, it's okay, a okay, 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 okay. Small guitar. Okay, okay, so it's a guitar that you love playing. Okay, okay, interesting. Yeah. And उससे भी सीखने को मिलते हैं लोगों को बहुत कुछ about life, about general things about life too, maybe. Um, not really. It's like it, 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 it because I play it. No one in my family really else knows how to play it, so it's just more okay. towards me okay. and just like kind of doing what I want in my spare time. Right, beautiful. Uh. Rabia, same thing. Video games, I, different games, uh, board games, agree. everything. I somewhat agree with yeah. Hmm. Games can have a huge impact. You can learn a lot from puzzles, especially. And Monopoly, you learn economics from Monopoly. I think at at such a young age, you 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 start balancing your properties and your money, and it's it's kind of it's it's kind of uncanny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think music. You learn a lot from music too. It's if it's good music, not the yeah. rap and everything that goes on right now, but the real classical music or some something like that. I think jazz is very good because it it helps you connect okay. to your spiritual self. I think. Right, so it connects you with your spiritual self. It is. Ah, uh, Shanwaz, you want to add an example? Yeah, I wanted to add an example. It's like, uh, for example, I used to play. I play this game, GTA Five, and in the story mode of that game, there is a stock okay. market which you can bid in, and you can invest in and take out money, and it works at the real world. And you can see how your actions in the game affect the stock market to get your to get more to make more money or lose money. Okay, so of course there are a lot of things. So of course that can be our next question to all the people who are watching us right now. 
वो कौन सी गेम है जिनसे जो आप खेलते हैं वो आपको लगता है कि आपको बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला है उस गेम से जरूर हमें बताइए यहाँ पे अपने कॉम्पिटिशन में जिन लोगों ने हमें अभी अभी ज्वाइन किया है Uh, I have three guests with me. I have Michal, I have Rabia, and I have Shana Waz with me today. Uh, we are on our Teen Talks webisode. It's fun words webisode. जहाँ हम बात करते हैं future से. We have Gen Z with us who talks about you know their virtues, who talks about life, how they see it. हम अब कुछ comments भी यहाँ मौजूद हैं. हमें कहा है काशान ने who says I'll just show a comment. काशान says totally agree with you, Shana Waz. Minahil Haq. is joining us she saying agree with you wabia agree with you wabia for medical students uh, only biology and chemistry is most important wabia uh, khan ek aur puch rahi hai mishal did you learn playing how do you pronounce that mishal is it ukulele or how do you pronounce this ukulele ukulele okay yeah, ukulele. so did you learn playing ukulele or did you join a class aap sab sawal hai wabia khan ka <laughs> I um learned online mainly like through the internet which I found is very helpful for generally anything. So I use like Google Chrome and oh, wow. YouTube to learn songs yeah. Oh wow so of course learning ke again ek did you have example hai ki aap YouTube se aapne sikha hua ek instrument na uh hame ammar ke we have yeah. learned baking and decorating cakes and stuff like that from YouTube. Oh wow! Oh wow! That that's incredible. Amar says that Minecraft has helped me learn a lot. So yeah, Minecraft be. You can write. Absolutely. In your comment section, tell us which game is it. Whether it's a video game, whether it's a mobile game, whether it's a board game, which you have learned about life or about normal things. Tell us about which game is it. Whether it's a video game, whether it's a mobile game, whether it's a board 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 game, uh we talking about learning here um, my next question uh, would be from mishal uh, mishal what do you think that adults can do to create a more learned society ki society sara learned ho learning ko leke rujhan ho adults ko kya kehna chahiye your advice to adults um i think that's a very broad, that question could have a very broad answer because obviously there are always things okay. you can do to improve something um but i feel that hmm. accepting like if for example if you're a parent and you don't like the path that your child is going on maybe in their academic life the best thing i think you can do is accept that that is what they want to do and help nurture them and their skills so that not only that they do what they want to do but they're good at what they do so i feel that encouraging their children but not over encouraging encouraging their children will definitely help create a much safer space and would um like help them learn more interesting interesting rabia you want to say something on that yeah i think parents uh, and guardians and leaders they should be more accepting and should they should try a new approach i think the conventional approach of studying and taking everything very seriously and studying in a very secluded manner is very outdated and it's not healthy as well people get anxiety attacks i have seen many people get anxiety attacks just before the exam why because they they were mm. not studying with a healthy environment they they were never studying in a healthy environment and i think i was very lucky in this particular situation because in all levels i had a teacher sir hasan bari he was very different he taught mm. us in, uh, he never taught us in a conventional way He he chose to discuss topics with us rather than just making us mug up the knowledge he gave us or whatever. But he he never taught us like to pass the paper. He gave us skills. He gave us analytical thinking. He tried to make us more observant. I think that would matter a lot, and people would try to learn more because of that. The approach matters a lot. approach matters a lot and that was beautifully answered rabia and thank you for mentioning about your teacher as well shana was what do you think about that how should adults work out or work around to create a more learned society what do we do i think that adults will just have to help their kids find a passion that and something that they're interested in and be more accepting about what their kids are doing 
अच्छा एक ये बताइए कि do you also think शानवास कि ये जो learning का जो है why is it कि always कि हम अक्सर कहाँ we expect a lot of a lot from our children we expect a lot from our students to learn पर कहीं ना कहीं adults भी अपने learning process को रोके हुए होते हैं वो भी सीखना छोड़ देते हैं do you see that is happening too and if yes what should we do about it I'm not sure what can be done about it because I, I said before as well that they grew up in a different world than we grew up in. We have more exposure than they to our current world as it is right now. We're more technology advanced than it. Interesting. 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 Yeah, I think I. Uh, have a question. Yeah, and maybe I'm going. Yeah, that's yeah, alright. Tell me, Abhi. What do you think? I think that uh, the adults they just stop learning after graduation. They just think that BS is fine, and then you don't have to learn anymore. You don't have to study anymore. Degree aagi hai, bas kafi hai. But I think you should learn your whole life. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Michelle, what what's your input on that? What do you see? Um. Well, I feel like. Um, because my parents, they're still studying after graduating. It's been quite a while since they graduated, but they're still like my dad takes courses and stuff to, like to help him in his career. So I think that definitely learning is more is important as you go on in life because it also helps you um, like in your current job position as well. So I feel like it is quite important to keep learning. Okay. Okay. I said there's a very interesting question, and uh, this question is from Mariam Shah. And Mariam Shah is asking, learning is indeed important. How about the concept of unlearning? Anybody want to attempt? Abhi, you want to attempt this question? I Answer think, this question. I think this can be done very smoothly by parents only, because the upbringing okay. of a child. Solely, usually depends on the parents' thinking and their mindset. And if we continue to teach our our children, our young generations, the same concepts that we had, they'd learn the same thing. Because no one is born mm. good or bad. They are develop mm. they develop these emotions. They develop these characteristics in uh, in their youth, and then as they grow up. Because I've seen recently, it was a very major issue in the Amer America in the United States. The mm. racism, mm. and I think yeah. we can we can start unlearning racism because the skin color it does not matter. What matters is what in what's inside and what's the uh, character and what's the personality. Because we are all the same from the inside. They just have a little bit more melanin than we do, and that's just a skin pigment. So I don't think they deserve the way they have been treated since a long, long time. It's not been years; it's been centuries. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's usually said uh, about how we need to unlearn certain um, principles or certain practices uh, that is happening around the world. Either it's with the race, color, or uh, either it has to do with the religion, with the sects, with the caste, uh, with the gender. Uh, exactly. so everything, yeah. That that that's that's really uh, very well said. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Mariam, for this raising this point, and thank you uh, for these answers. I guess uh, if you have any question for from our future, please uh, feel free to ask us here. कोई भी सवाल आपके पास आता है, कोई भी जवाब बार आप पूछना चाहते हैं, discuss करना चाहते हैं, please आप बिल्कुल यहाँ पे लिखिए. We are still live for next five ten minutes and. Before I close my session uh, again, मैं आपका सवाल बिल्कुल लेना चाहूँगा. So okay, we'll have a quick rapid fire. Are we are we ready? Can we have a quick rapid fire? Yeah, quick, quick answer. Okay. Done. Shanavas, Chal, Rabia, start. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's start. Okay. 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 Uh, whenever we you get to hear about these words or hear things, uh, let's start the first word. School curriculum. One word, one phrase, one line. Quickly, start with you, Shanavas. School curriculum. It needs to be changed. Awaz nahi hai, Shanavas. Say it again. It needs to be changed. Okay. It needs to be changed. Rabia. Outlines the, your passion. 
gives an gives a guidance outline okay. of that. It outlines a passion, Michelle. What do you think? I'd say it's outdated. Outdated. Interesting. Uh, next word is adults in today's time. Shanawas, quickly, one word, one phrase, one line. They should be more accepting. Should be more acceptable. Okay. Babia. Um, narrow minded. Narrow minded. Okay. Michal. Um, should empathize more with their children. Should empathize more. Should empathize more with the children. Interesting. Generation Z. Chanwas. Technology. Technology. Rabia. Possibilities. Possibilities, uh, Vishal. The future. The future. One last word. Society. Shanawas. Uh, I need to be changed. Need to be changed. Rabia. Should be ignored. Okay, should be ignored. Mishal. Can be improved upon. Can be improved upon. Okay, one last, one last actually this time. One phrase from your heart about learning. Shanawas. Uh, learning isn't something that has to be forced. It has to, it cannot be forced. Interesting, Rabia. Learn to gain wisdom, not to print money. Learn to gain wisdom and not to print money. Wow, Michal. It's of utmost importance to keep learning. It's of utmost importance to keep learning. Wow, that was beautiful. And uh, I'm just going to comments. We are very cool. And let's see. Uh, that's true, Rabia and Michal. It's very important to keep learning, even though you are an adult. I believe learn from uh, crib to grave, of course. And that's the purpose of humankind. She's saying thank you. And she's saying a uh, good example of unlearning. Thank you so much for being here with me, Shanawa. Thank you so much for being here with me, Michal. And thank you so much for being here with me, Rabia. Uh, I'll take one last point. That is okay, your piece of advice to adults who are watching us about learning. Shanawa, I'll start with you. Your one piece of advice. I would say be more accepting to your kids' passion and what they want to do when they grow up. Be more acceptable towards your kids' passion and let them do what they really want to do. That is what Shana was going to say. Rabia, your one message to all the adults who are watching. I think I agree. Up. And uh, to leave the conventional methods back in the age, back in the history. Leave the conventional methods back in the history books. That's what Rabia want to say. And last but not least, is Michal, your one piece of advice to all the adults who are um, watching. To ignore social stigmas and give mental health more importance than they do at the moment. Wow, to ignore the emotional stigma and give mental health the due importance. I think uh, we need to clap to that. Yeah, and I guess that's very much needed. Thank you so much. And I would like really like to appreciate all three of you for being here with me and for sharing such amazing thing. A very good comment is from Ahmarin. And Ahmarin says, I'm amazed at the mature answers from our youngsters, from our Gen Z. And definitely, and I guess this was the idea when uh, our team Funwork sat together and we came up with this idea that we have to Gen Z because we have talked about the millennials. We have to understand the youngsters. I guess it is very important that we are the actual youngsters, the actual future. We have to talk about And thank you so much for spending our time. Uh, thank you so much, Shahnawaz. Thank you so much, Rabia. And thank you so much, Michal, for being thank here with me. Uh, before I leave uh, and before we leave. Uh, thank you so much, everyone who's watching us right now. Uh, before I leave, uh, one last message that I want to tell to anybody and everybody who's watching us. So these were the answers of our Gen Z. These are the answers of our future. Now it's up to us. What do we want to do? Kuch baatein jo baar baar repeat hui in baato mein ek hi thi hum adults ke liye ki hume aur acceptable hona chahiye. Hume aur empathetic hona chahiye. Hume aur compassionate hona chahiye. Hamare future ke saath, hamare younger generation ke saath. Jab हम लोग छोटे थे और हम लोग जब अपने पैशन की बात क्या करते थे और तब हम ये बातें कहते थे कि जी क्यों कन्वेंशनल मेथड्स पे रुके हुए हैं क्यों हम पुरानी चीजों पे रुके हुए हैं और क्यों हम अपने बाप अपने वालिदैन को कहते थे कि क्यों हम आप पुराने आइडियाज पे अटके हुए हमें कुछ नया ट्राई करने दो आज की जनरेशन भी हमसे यही चाहती है बातें वही चल रही है रोल्स चेंज हो गए तब हम बच्चे थे आज हमारी औलाद मौजूद है आज हमारे बहन भाई मौजूद है आज हमारे कजंस मौजूद हैं 
it's time to give them what we maybe struggled with it's time to listen to them because trust me ye koi bhi answers scripted nahi the ye sare answers aapke samne the aapke sawalat bhi aapne abhi puche jinke jawab bhi aapko abhi abhi mile there's nothing called scripted everything and anything that they said they really meant it now it's up to us how we really want to take them forward yes these are our future but is future ko aage zimmedari hum hi denge and how we going to take it forward with that note i really wish that um, if we have learned one thing from these kids from these not kids i would say from the generation z from the future it's time that we implemented especially during this turbulent times and i guess bahut sai mamlaat ka hal hame ye de sakte hain only is that we need to reach out to them only is that we need to hear them only is that we need to be more acceptable towards their ideas towards their thoughts and towards their values thank you so much for being here with me tonight today um for another episode of uh, print talks agar aapne hame aaj pehli pehli baar join kiya if you here for the first time please uh, do not forget to uh, hit that like button please not forget to hit that subscribe button of funworks media aap uh, you will get to see uh, more shows we get to see more talks more conversations on different topics and of course print talks is there to uh, do not forget to appreciate uh, our teenagers do not forget to appreciate here in your comments and as well as in your real life too with that thank you so much i'm zen goplani signing off from another webisode of teen talks apna bahut bahut khayal rakhiyega uh, do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to our channel inshallah zindagi bhai aap logo se mulakat hogi apna bahut bahut khayal rakhe stay safe stay healthy keep washing your hands keep the social distance active keep the physical distance active and uh, take care of yourself bye bye take so much